Hey guys, Andrew Kina Bulger here, and I'm coming to you from the Junior Theater Festival, which is a huge convention down in Atlanta, Georgia, where kids perform, get adjudicated, see Broadway performances, win awards, and meet 4,000 other kids who all have the same shared passion as them, a great love of theater. We are right now seeing excerpts of musicals, 15 minute excerpts. We just saw Mulan Jr. Now we're seeing um, my son, Geppetto? My, my, son, son, Pin my son Pinocchio. My son Pinocchio. So we are here at lunch, and we decided to come sit with some of our friends from Susical Jr. Woo! Show everybody your bracelets. And what do the bracelets say? I got a bracelet too. What is, and what does ETM stand for? Enjoy the moment! Enjoy the moment! Are you guys having fun? Yes! Oh, it's our authors! Last year I was lucky enough to premiere Better Nate Than Ever here, my uh, novel about a boy auditions for E.T. the musical. And then this year there's more kids than ever here. It's like 4,500 screaming their heads off kids. And I brought the sequel called 5678 and it's been the best weekend and I've never been more tired or more energized in that weird way. I'm here with my book, How to Act Like a Kid. I first arrived at Broadway. Um, there were lots of questions that I had. You know, what, I, what should I wear to auditions? How to audition? You know, um, what sort of music should I have? And all these, all these questions it took me a long time, about like about two or three years to figure it all out. And um, I wanted a book that had it all and would just streamline my learning process. So that's my book, How to Act Like a Kid. Did you guys? Guys, guys, who do you just meet? Oh my god. His name is Andrew and he's crutchy! I know oh, he's crutchy, that's all I remember! What's up with that? <laughs> I am here at the Newsies World Will Know Wall where all of the students here have been writing inspirational things on the wall to tell to the world. I'm here with my buddy Evan, Evan, who's currently <laughs> on the floor trying to find some blank space, need some space and right. he is filling out some okay. inspirational words for the generations of tomorrow. What are you writing, buddy? I am writing triumph through adversity. When I was 19 years old, I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, bone cancer, and I had to have my right leg amputated above the knee, but through it all, my love for the performing arts kept me going and kept me alive. And <clears throat> I said to my prosthetist, I really want to tap again. And so he got me a peg leg, and I started doing it. And uh, it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> yeah.